Hello and welcome to Smitty's. I am a wood cutting fanatic who loves to run a chainsaw. I run alcohol chainsaws, ported chainsaws, I race chainsaws, and I even run the occasional video. Now remember, I cannot do this without you. You're everything to the channel, so please remember, subscribe, give that thumbs up, leave that comment. Today, we are going to have a lot of fun. So how you doing? Been working in the shop, but uh, not exactly working on saws, if you know what I mean. Look out, we're started on the ceiling. Muffler came in today and we put some Celotex up. We did not get the whole thing done. We got about halfway across, as you can see, and we stopped. And you can see I added all sorts of lighting. It is way brighter in here, can you tell? It has improved drastically how bright it is. And uh, after he left, though, I put up all the lighting that I'm going to run. As you can see, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's getting there. You see the uh, 12 wire hanging there? I'm going to put a receptacle in the ceiling there. And over yonder there, you can see I'm going to put another receptacle. And there's two other spots on the other side of the room. Can you see the wire hanging? Way over there. We're going to put some receptacles up in the ceiling. We just ran the wire for now. Uh, can't see it, but I ran 14 three wire also across the, the ceiling from one end to the other. Uh, that's so I can three way the switch and, you know, put switches on either side of the building for the lights. So yeah, we got some wire ran and then we, uh, went ahead and started working on the ceiling. I'll have to cut a little piece for that. Oop, so that gap there. Uh, yeah, the, the, the Celotex we got here was used and, you know, it's, it was obviously pieces of it were cut to fit and I'm going to just have to patch it up a bit to get it to work. But there we go. We're getting started. Now you see how I have the lighting all kind of like different directions. You see it? hard to tell I'm trying to give you a good angle but you see how i made like squares um that is to help prevent shadows in the room so you, your lights are coming from different directions so this light running in a different direction will help cancel out the shadow made from this light that's running this direction and that's why they're ran like that uh kind of a tip briscoe gave me when i was up visiting him and I'm doing the same thing. So I picked up a pack of 12 of these lights. And that's what we got in here. Uh, now, if you can't tell, I'm sitting on like a bar stool that swivels. So I'm enjoying myself here. I'm just kind of swivel, swivel, swivel. <laughs> and I also did some cleaning. Got the uh, workbench cleaned up a little. Not entirely. But, you know, uh, I could actually do something in here again. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, if it weren't for mufflers showing up, none of this would have been done today. Uh, he uh, he has a way of helping keep me, help to keep me motivated to keep moving, if you know what I mean. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have just sat around and did nothing all day. So, hey, thanks to Muffler for keeping me motivated to do something. Uh, you know, I got something else done. But... Hey, I'm at a point now that I can actually work on another saw. But I got a lot of cleaning to do in this building. Boy, do I got a lot. I basically need to go from one corner to the other, throw away about 75% of this stuff, and kind of start clean, if you know what I mean. And that's kind of my plan. Uh, one of the issues I'm going to have is I have so many saws. I think there's about 100 of them here. And I'm probably going to unload half probably but most of them are like part saws some of them are stuck you know some of these are really old and so forth so yeah uh, we'll be unloading some stuff uh, maybe even wait here comes levi <laughs> but here at the event at the end of july i'm thinking i'm probably going to put all this stuff out uh give it away basically to anybody who wants it you can have it um 
basically it's going to save me the hassle of going through the whole process of shipping it to people who sell who buys it or whatever yeah, a lot of it's going to be like twenty dollar items if i do put it up for sale so i think i think i'll just take it all out for the event and just say here this stuff's free if you want to take it take it you know what i mean a lot of it's going to be home light but uh it's going to be a lot of junk parts and stuff that i'm going to unload so you know let somebody else enjoy the hassle of having all this junk right <laughs> but one of the reasons i got to do this is because i do want to put concrete in the building and i'd have to have the building empty in order to put concrete in so you know i got to get some stuff moved out I'm going to be doing some changes on the layout of the building and so forth. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. Both the boys just came out to say hi. Now, the Johns are at 670. Uh, it was missing, see, on the, on the original plastic, this part here and this part here are two separate pieces. And to get this piece, the one that was I was missing, was $50.00 use on ebay so i decided to go with a 272 uh aftermarket plastic because it was 10 bucks uh doesn't look as good for certain but at least now i got a complete top cover maybe we'll look at dyeing it black in the future but at least now i got a full set of plastic on it and the worm drive for the oil pump ordered one uh it hasn't come yet so we'll have to wait a little bit till it gets here now you can see i got a few saws lined up here uh this shelf just keeps getting bigger and bigger i got that home light hung up there got some stuff on the floor and then i got all these shelves here with stuff you know these shelves are like the catch-all. So I got all this, this one here, and then back here, there's a bunch of junk parts and stuff. This whole shelf, I bet you there's 10 plus saws on that shelf. Just throw it in a pile. So this is, whenever I was talking about cleaning up some stuff, this is the part that I was talking about. Getting a lot of this cleaned up and mainly the stuff that's back here in the corner and you can see here this is that pile of junk that i said i need to go through and so it's tossed half of it away probably or more find a home for it uh the dresser idea for parts is a good idea it works good except that dresser is basically just a pain in the butt because none of the drawers like to open and everything. So I'm probably going to get rid of that dresser. I might get another one. But if you're ever looking for a solution for parts, you know, an old dresser does work. You got all those different shelves. That one shelf there in the middle on the right, that is nothing but carburetors. I bet you there's 100 carburetors in that, in that drawer. So, you know, neat little system for keeping your parts. But... This shelf here, this big shelf, this rack, you see it here? This is the one I said used to be a crate for a lawnmower. There's this one, there's one right below it. Can you see? There's some old saws down there. And then if you look beyond to the other side there, there's another one. Those are the three that I wanna get rid of. At least get them out of the building. They'll take up a lot of space, you know? So. I want to get them out and then I need to find a new home for the fridge because once we get all of this ceiling done, you know, well, we just have an extension cord ran there for it. So we're going to have to find a new home for the fridge and, you know, one thing after another. Now you see this drill press and everything. This used to be sitting here where that lathe is and that was my grinding station. Well, ever since I moved it over here, I haven't had a ground grinding station. So I'm gonna work at coming up with a much better one, which is probably going to be this table here. It's all cluttered. See it? 
probably gonna turn that into my grinding station and just find a new home for all that junk. So we'll see. That's kind of my idea though. I still got a lot of work to do. Started cleaning this corner up. You can see this is where I'm gonna put my firewood for the wood stove. I just got a few more things here to get rid of. This is a tote full of reloading stuff. That's an old 212 speaker cabinet for my guitar playing, which that's what that, that, that amp there, that's an amp inside that flight case, that pedal board, that's my pedal board from whenever I was touring. Yeah, everything I had was in flight cases. So, you know, but I gotta find a home for all this stuff. And I got a plan. You see, whenever I get done with this, I still got this bay here that we're, we're actually working on getting stuff out of this bay. So this is probably gonna turn into like a lounge area. My plan is to put in a bathroom here in the corner. This is gonna be a while till we get to this, so bear with me. Little bathroom here, we gotta run the pipe. We gotta do all the plumbing for it. And, uh, you know, kind of build a little wall here and everything. Put a bathroom in, but I'm thinking line my amps and stuff up along this wall on my guitar gear. We'll see though, but that might be what we do. And turn this area into a lounge, this one whole bay. We'll see though. Because I'm thinking if I can get this stuff out of here, I might be able to get it set up to where the center bay is where I could pull a vehicle in here and work. You can imagine this will be like concrete floors, be all cleaned up. You can see this is a train wreck. I'm backing up here in the corner so you can get a better view. She's a train wreck. But we're doing it a little bit at a time. This is one of those projects an hour or two and you feel like you hardly get anything, you know? So it's gonna be an hour or two here, an hour or two there. So eventually we get her done. But in the meantime, I got a lot of stuff to get out of here first. You know, I got those two shelves there, right here. See them? Those two big shelves, I went out. This one I went out. This thing is like four feet deep, you know? It takes up some space. I want to get them out. Same with those. Get them out. Uh, the windows, there's going to be, we're going to be putting the windows in. These, these, ones, these ones were in the house whenever it caught them fire. And we're going to actually install these windows here in the building. And then one of them is going to be down there on the other side of the wood stove. We're going to put a door in over here somewhere. Uh, go to the back side. And then the other window, I don't know because I'm planning on putting a bathroom here, so I don't know. We might put a window in over there where the home light sign is by the panel box. This side, we might put one of the windows in there, but we'll see. But right now I'm only planning on putting one of them in. We'll see how she goes. We might put one here by this post, then the door, then the other window, and then the bathroom could be here. I want to make the bathroom as small as I can, just a, a toilet and a shower. And I'm going to put a sink in, but the sink will be outside of the bathroom. So it'll be like a, a spot that I can clean parts, you know, all that stuff over here. So the, the, the corner we're going to take here for a bathroom isn't going to be very big. I'm thinking a stand-up shower and a toilet. That way we got a little shower here for our events and... You know, those stand-up showers aren't that expensive to put in, so, you know, it ain't that bad. But yeah, we got a little progress in the building. Uh, no saw work done, but, you know, progress is progress regardless, right? <laughs> Didn't get to do anything with the lathe, you know, uh, getting it done. It's just one big project after another. Trying to get a little bit of heat in here, you know, trying to keep it warm enough that I could do some work. I got the wood burner over there. It's rocking and rolling. We want to get some stuff in the ceiling though. You know what I mean? And I, that definitely made a difference putting that ceiling up. Now, now I can actually start feeling some of the warmth in here. 
So, you know, I think another day of me and Muffler working on the ceiling, we'll get that done. And then I think we're gonna try to put some doors on, some simple like barn doors, and uh, just to get me through for a while. Um, it might be another year or two until I put some proper doors in, proper overheads. But, uh, you know, I could put something in temporary, uh, at least to keep me through the winters and so forth. See Cody back here acting all strange and weird. What are you doing, Cody? <laughs> Come here. Say hi. So what are you doing tomorrow? Where are you going with mommy? Where's mommy taking you? Uh, WWE. WWE. You're going to go see WWE wrestling. WWE is coming to town and Cody gets to go see them wrestling. Ah, yes. Who, who, who are you rooting for? Drew McIntyre. <laughs> McIntyre? No, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. Yeah. But I've been sitting here trying to come up with an idea here. I'm going to put the camera down because it's... You guys are probably getting dizzy, right? But I'm trying to come up with a plan here to figure out what saw I want to do next. You got the 390 with the 385 top end. The problem is I don't have all the parts. I want to put new bearings and everything in it. So I need to get the bottom end parts. <coughs> so I can build that saw. I got the 372 that I'm putting a 48 millimeter top end on. I already discovered it needs bearings, so i got to get those parts in. Then i got a home light over here I wanna, I'm going to build. I do have all the parts to it, so I could get started on that. i got the G366. I have all the parts to it, but the lathe isn't up and running. Um, i got another one over here sitting in a box I haven't even introduced you to yet. That one's going to get built here soon. And what else? Boy, uh, a couple of, you know... I got this S55 I want to build. I haven't even thought about that one yet. And, you know, I got project after project here we're going to be doing. I just haven't decided which one's going to be next. I think the home light's going to be coming up here pretty soon. Um, as far as I know, it just it's just leaking air. So I think through the process of building it, I can fix the air leaks. I don't think I need to tear into the bottom end on that saw. So it should go together pretty fast. But, you know, project after project. Um, I got another Home Light 925 here to put together. Uh, you guys remember the world's fastest Home Light chainsaw? Uh, some of you get, well, most of you guys are new, so you probably don't know what I'm talking about. We uh, we spun up a, a 925 fast enough that uh, I slammed the piston into the top of the cylinder. It stretched the connecting rod and everything. And uh, I was thinking about doing that again, just for the fun of it. And I have us all sitting here in pieces that I could do it to. So we might do that again. Um, <clears throat> now, I still got to get the wild thing converted to methanol. Uh, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff to do here. But I just got to decide what I'm going to do next. You know what I mean? And then we're going to tear into it. Just one thing after another. That's just this shop. This shop has been bugging me and... You know, I really wanted to get it done. Really want to get some of the stuff cleaned up. So that's what we're doing. You know, got a couple of builds I'm going to tear into. Uh, I want to be at a point where I can tear a saw down and leave it like that as I get the parts, you know, and work on it and so forth. Uh, I, I'm kind of leaning towards the 390 with the 385 top end. That's the one I'm kind of leaning towards. That one in the home light. So we'll see. I might tear into something else. <laughs> so anyway, hey, hope you enjoyed this little video and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.